There is many differing opinions about what the right gear oil to use on these cars, transmissions, transfer cases, and rear ends, as there are different kinds of gear oil. I have a Team Rip engineering transmission, and I'm following my engine builder's recommendations. If you want to see what some of the other transmission builders have as their favorites, I've placed links to some of the popular ones down in the info field below, and you can click on that and get all the information you'd like. Um, also, there's other great research and development information in many of their technical sections. It's good to read. I'm going to use the fluids that I think work best for me. They say when you service the transfer case, you should always take the fill bolt off before you remove the drain plug. Because if it gets stuck in there, and you remove the drain plug and drain all your fluids, and then you can't get the fill bolt out, you're in big trouble. So let's see. Is mine seized? No, that's not seized at all. Came right out. And you'll see that the uh, transfer case uses an aluminum washer. That's the seal right there. This doesn't have much fluid capacity, so I'm going to use the same pan I used to drain the transmission. It's gear oil, after all. And this one's a 15 16th, or I think a 24 millimeter. Good to know it's that loose. I'm going to let that sludge real good. Let's see what happens here. I'll just put the rag in the pan so that if there are any metal shavings that are dripping out in this bottom end of the sludge, when I lift the rag out, they'll still be in the rag and the oil will be in the pan. <laughs> it looks pretty syrupy there. Still semi transparent, kind of reddish. Just gotta let that sit in sludge. Alright, I'm using shockproof heavy gear oil from Redline in my transfer case and for the rear end. Um, it's about the best protection I can get. Easy open lid. My Now, one of the most striking characteristics about it is it's red. The other most striking characteristic about it is that this cap doesn't fit on it. You can't screw that thing on to squirt it into the transfer case. So, I've got an empty bottle here that does fit it. And uh, I'll just put a half a quart in there because that's what the transfer case is going to need. You see, that is some thick stuff. It's like pouring peanut butter. Look at that. You pour it around the edges and it's like. Bleh, bleh. Stuff's so thick. It's an idea of the viscosity there. Thick stuff. Let's move on. Let's see what we got here. It's supposed to be torqued to 24 foot pounds. I don't have a half inch torque wrench or socket that'll fit that, so I'm just gonna mash on it. Plug none of the gaskets crushed. Gotta fill the transfer case. There's the hole right there. I just take this little thing, point it right in there, open the valve. And squeeze. Let's see how she's doing. I think we can put a little more in there. Oh, we're full if it begins to slowly run out. Yep, we're full. 24 foot pounds. There, transfer case is done. There's my BFH. Good old 95 LSD 4 bolt rear. I'm going to go ahead and change the fluids in this thing. And one thing you'll notice is that both the fill plug and the drain plug, fill plug, drain plug, same size. Another 15 16 or 24 millimeter. Now, the same rules apply. You take the fill bolt out before you take the drain bolt out. That's my way of doing things. Nice and loose. So I'm not going to have a problem there. Some say gear oil smells really bad. Don't believe them. It's all a bunch of hellabaloo. Oh, 
Oh, crap. That's the scar. Oh, just kidding. Get a pan under here. Catch all the goo. You want to have a rag handy? I cheated. The nice thing about this is we have magnetic plugs. So if there's a problem, the end of this thing will be covered in a metallic goo. And uh, lucky me, there ain't nothing on it. Time to refill the bottle. All right, I think we're there. Yes, sir. I'm having deja vu. I've done this video before. These are all the specifications out of a 97 Mitsubishi service manual. This is what the manufacturer says to use in these. Well, I'm using Modal 300. Ordered this off of Amazon. Took a little while to get here. But this is one of the products that uh, was recommended to me for use with this transmission. Look at this. It comes with the nozzle built right in. Isn't that handy? So for the way my transmission's built, the climate, and the way I'm going to use it, I think I got the right gear oil selections. I read all the transmission builder sites and looked at all their recommendations to see what they would agree on. And I've included many of the sites that I visited uh, during my searches in the info section. So you guys can do the same thing if your conditions are different than mine. If you've got a stock gearbox, you probably want to use what's in the, uh, the DSM Bible or just go to the dealership and get a bottle of the GL4 Diaqueen. Now that we've got fluids back in it and the wheels on the ground, this is a good time to go around and hand torque your lugs and start to put all the stuff on the car that you might have left off of it. Uh, I've still got to take care of my upper intercooler pipe and fix a wiring harness. Just kidding. It's all back together. <laughs> 